Dateline Our Kingdom Southwest Nigeria October 22, 1960 A bouncing baby boy was born to a teacher and later principal Mr. Jacob Ajinoja Aragbaye and his wife Mama Comfort Folake Aragbaye Little did they know they were blessed with a child of destiny that would make impact on humanity Oluwadari Aragbaye began to show outstanding qualities and unequalled doggedness right from tender age. Ulua Dari Aragbaye started his education at St. Patrick's Anglican Primary School, Owo, and later at Owo High School, Owo, and completed his secondary education at Special Sixth Form College, Ikare Akoko. In furtherance of his educational pursuits, Dari Aragbaye gained admission and proceeded to the University of Ife, now Obafemi Aolawo University in Ife, in Oshun State, in 1980, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in political science and a master's degree in business administration from the Federal University of Technology, Akure. Young Dari Aragbaye remained an epitome of academic success and a shining star among his peers. Like I used to call him brother, he's my elderly brother and they've been coming together now for over 40 years. You, you cannot predict him because of his stature, uh -huh. you can't predict him. You know then, this bullying was also on, but as fragile as his stature will look like, his action is opposite his is a, is a human uh, structure. Uh, so all those who feel they are bigger or stronger, they, they, they are not cross his uh, path. He knows how to handle. Then I, I see him as a conflict uh, manager. I mean, he played that role very well. And he has, he has been a firm man since then. I'm very loving. We started together very early in life. That means since my early 1960s. So we have been together all the while. Grew up together in the same quarters. So So we have been together for quite a long time. Your first contact with him, you will not want to move far away. And uh, I don't know, with the busy schedule of office, I don't know how we can wind these days. But Dari wants people around him. He loves seeing people around him. He's a man of the people. Like I said, he has infectious aura. You want to identify him, you want to move closer to him. And your contact with him, Dari wants to listen to you. Then he wants to assist you in whatever area he can do. He has one kind of empathy that touches the life of other people. Apart from being my colleague at work, Dari has been a friend and a brother. As a matter of fact, he's more of a brother than a friend. We have come a long way. At least we've come for close, getting close to 40 years now. And uh, for one day, he has not disappointed me. Hey. Mr. Darabaye is an um, unassuming person. He's, um, he's a dogged fighter. In whatever he believes, he holds on strictly to it. He's a trustworthy fellow. He's straightforward. He doesn't mix uh, his job with any other thing. And when you see a hardness person like him, you can take anything for granted. He's somebody that once he has confidence in you, he reposes a lot of confidence in you. Actually, I've known him for like 20 years ago. He's a perfect gentleman. He's a daddy to the core. Is someone I can call a father, a mentor, someone anybody can look up to. 
is uh, is generous, is kind, is a man that any 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 lady can pay for. Daria Ragbaye joined the civil service of Ondo State in March 1985 as an administrative officer in the State Ministry of Finance. Yes, I maybe by providence and the support of my late father who had uh, because I was the last boy in the family well, my younger sister was not in the war for most of the period, most, most of the years. And uh, I was very close to him. So because he also worked in the civil service, he had exposed me to what it meant at that time to, to be a civil servant. And of course, I had the privilege of listening to discussions between him and his colleagues many times, even when traveling to Ibadan, to the Secretariat in Ibadan. I had the prayer of also following him on a few of the occasions. So he told me about this kid which I later joined. Of course, he, he obtained the form for me while I was on the new service in Abuja. And, um, so I joined after a series of interviews and uh, that was how it started. While I was undergoing the interviews, I also had a student at uh, teaching. You know, before I could settle down in teaching, this one had come through, so I had to come to Akure to start work as an administrative officer. And, uh, to God be the glory. I had been sort of uh, uh, giving the orientation of how it looked like. What another job that occurred to me at that time was a banking job. But uh, that one didn't last. That, uh, that, uh, that ambition last before and it came up late anyway immediately i left university maybe because i saw one of one of our seniors in school in those days who was working in first bank effect and uh, i was attracted and you know, before i could not show the idea this social job came up and I had to get seen that I remember three years after I joined, I had the privilege of being selected to work, work with the governor as private secretary. That was when we had our first set of twins and I could not go to the hospital to join my wife. A friend of mine came around to meet me in the office and I told him and he said I should not bother that we'll go there and he went. But I did not go because I was at work. So those were the little little challenges that we had. But all together they are they are good challenges. They are not uh, negative. They because they impacted positively on the, on the way one conducted himself. His working career spanning 35 years saw him worked in various ministries before he was appointed as permanent secretary in the state civil service by former governor of Ondo State, Dr. Olushegu Mimiko. A robust output saw him served in so many ministries before being appointed as the 13th head of service by Ondo State Governor Arakun Yuluaro Timi Akeredolu SAN in 2019. Let me congratulate the people of Ondo State for being able to reap bountifully from the investment in this wonderful gift we have invested in you. Our wonderful gift 
now Uluwa Dari Paragbaye, Head of Service. <laughs> On those three people, hardly forget. But let me assert this boldly with palpable joy. The state is lucky to have Dare in the saddle of this, at this critical moment. Dare has, from, from his resume, which was read, has moved around departments in the service with track record of excellence. Let me say this, Dare, I'm proud of you, very proud. It's candor, discipline, honesty, effectiveness, efficiency, loyalty, division of duty, training, general acceptance by you. All of you have accepted him. And all attributes of good leadership imbued in him and in this position. Dari, I wish you an impactful tenor. Mr. Dari Aragbaye came on board as head of service with a wealth of experience which had helped to define major reforms, structural and economic stability of the state. To this end, and as we enter a new dawn in the quest to be positioned in the public service, we must, as a matter of necessity and urgency, embark on certain enduring reform measures to assist our workers at all levels to deliver on their sacred mandate of genuinely serving the government and our people. He also initiated a unique reform package, Christian Ondo Service Improvement Program, ODC, designed to address most of the dysfunction that had clogged the bureaucracy. The, the initiative has really changed the orientation of the public service. It has really changed. Because we have change agents in all, virtually all MDs. And you get to some secretaries in the past, you see people loitering about, you see people selling whatever they have. Now that we have change ambassadors, they look at you, you correct them, and they take what you do. He introduced so many things. The, the thing has to do with reorientation. And the, the purpose of that was to bridge the gap of the past and the present. In the past, we always talk of the good past. Yes, there are some good past in the, in the past, there are some good things from the past, and there are also some, some bad things in the past. So the, 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 the OSIP has sort of extracted what was good in the past, out of what was good in the past, and married it with what we expect. And that is why the service is moving. Punctuality now, you can see so many um, uh, offices holding management meetings at 8 a.m. They are always there to time. It has changed the orientation of the public service. You recollect, Imlele came on board. He created a group called ODZVIP, and that is about service delivery, standard in the service. And I can tell you in the last one and a half years that it has been in the hands of our fear, the service has, has witnessed a tremendous positive change. People are now going to office as when do you, people are now willing to deliver into our own quarter. People are now more responsible and active. And there's a man that uh, we're all going to miss. It's a fantastic woman, been hardworking, honest, and uh, highly responsible. It's worthy of emulation. He has repositioned the civil service for better performance and more efficient service delivery. Actually, he changed the orientation of civil servants. By way of in attendance, if Mr. Aragbaye fixes a meeting for 8 a.m. in the morning, he will get there before it. So, in other way, another week is very, very, very highly, very efficient. I'm very punctual. Wherever he finds himself, he will be an asset to wherever he belongs. We knew him to be an unassuming somebody. I now know him in greater detail. It's very fair, it's very firm, and it's very friendly. Uh, he's a leader who is not only in charge, but who takes care of those he's in charge. And he's a good listener. 
You can't, you know, that kind of personality is rare. And he has impacted so positively on the state bureaucracy. His tenure as head of service saw the prompt payment of salaries, implementation of minimum wage, among others. But he led the government side of the minimum, on the minimum wage uh, implementation. That was January, that was December 2019 till January 2020. And for the first time, I have been labor for over 15 years. For the first time, this is the first time labor and government will sit down on minimum wage without any trouble. I tell you why. He put all the cards on the table open. What do I mean by the cards? The revenue of the government, the expense of the government, he put everything on the table. And mind you, before putting it on the table, labor has it. But let me tell you something today that many people don't know. The governor, the appointees are not secret to their accounts. It is we, civil servants, that are secret to the account of the states. It is we that knows where they spend money or where money goes to. So when they put all the things and we, and we cross-check with what we have, when we realize that this thing is correct, then it gives us a very easy way for us to have a smooth minimum wage. Within a short period in office, his contribution and achievement earned him an extension of service making it the first in the history of Ondo State Civil Service. You will recollect that Labour even asked for, his, for extension for him. And uh, for the first time, for, for Labour, all Labour leaders to come together, organize Labour. Say, Oga, please give this man an extension to finish his good job. But unfortunately, he cannot be there forever. The entire public service under the leadership of our Hebun, sound head of service and let me just pull it together you have done very well we are not here for your validatory but we are sure that you will be leaving us soon, this year, very soon. We cannot forget you. You are a wonderful man. All the public servants I know appreciate you. Some top bureaucrats describe Aragbaye as a thoroughbred, dedicated, and kind-hearted man. Mr. Aragba, that we know is a quintessential gentleman. A man with vision. Very pragmatic, very focused. To describe him, I would say uh, Oga is an astute administrator. You can't take that away from him. He has a very good a uh, sense of judgment is honest, is open minded. Oga is someone that you know uh, people will want to work with. To me, I see him as a role model, a source of inspiration. And narrowing down to civil service, uh, you will see Oga as someone that has passion for civil service. The amiable administrator and technocrat is a man of many parts. We have a very good working relationship. Assignments have occurred in the civil service which we were both called on board to work together. I've worked with him at very close uh, level which uh, uh, will enable me to assess him. Is somebody who knows his onions. He's been an asset in the cabinet of Ondo State, where, is, where we are both members of the State Executive Council. When issues arise, he has always been provided inform, providing information, reminding Council of decisions that have been taken in the past, which will assist in charting a way forward. Mr. Aguaye is a coach. You have a lot to learn under this man. You don't have to delay files where Mr. Agba is. And he wants everybody to give their best. 
and that's one thing about him. He wants the best for this civil service. And as a coach, you learn a lot from him. Uh, I learned a lot of things from my boss. My boss used to come office very, very early. 20 minutes to 8, my boss will be in the office. That's why I learned a lot of things. That's exactly what I said. Uh, personally, someone like me now, before 7 o'clock, I have already get to my boss' house because my boss used to come office very early in the morning. The legacy that my boss put into the civil service, I know that anybody that is even coming to the office, we still continue with it. Mr. Daria Ragbaye has been a father to me. He's an amiable person. In fact, I am glad I met him. And I'm happy to work with him. There is no one else like him in this civil service that I've known. I'm going to miss him. I wish he still remain in the civil service. I wish he's yet to get retired. I wish to work with him to my service here and he's a nice boss. It's like a father. He's the best boss I ever work with. Your lower of our Obagbadegeshi Ogunoye speaks of the man, Dari Aragbaye. Upon my graduation, I was in Lagos. I was in Lagos and uh, I was enjoying life there. But he, whenever he called me, he usually said, uh, you, because usually me call, Bade, come. You have to come back to Ondo State. And you have to have a civil service career. Then I never, I didn't really know what all that entailed. So I, but he practically brought me back. He said, you must have a career in the civil service. He, he said, that, that is the place where if, if you have a career there, then you, you will be so, uh, you'll, be, you'll be so accomplished. Uh, you, actually, I should point it out but that Mr. Aragba, Aragbae is the civil, Udo State Civil Service personified. He was number one in everything. Do you talk about discipline? Do you talk about promptness? Do you talk about, talk about good management of the human and material resources of the state? He's always number one where, wherever you find him. Without the shades of duty and impediments on the way, impacted pressures at the home front, but a charming, beautiful and caring wife remained a bulwark. He's a loving husband, very caring. Uh, I saw him as a God sent to me. He has been wonderful. He's a caring husband and father. He cares about the children a lot. Because he believes that the success of these children, that's what we need. There's nothing that anybody can gain besides the success of the children. So he cares about them a lot. And even I as a wife too. He cares about me. Father Aragbaye, my father, is a father, is an is a husband, also very caring man. He's a very loving man. He's a disciplinarian. He loves his children so dearly, and he's also my role model. Through his charisma, the way he carries himself, and he's very trustworthy. His yes is his yes. He can't yeah, and his no is his no. So he does not take. No for, for a yes and does not take a yes for a no. I look at him as my mentor. So there is no how I will talk about him, both the relationship family-wise, I will still relate it to office-wise. If we are discussing generally, most especially about him, which is busy scheduling court, he has been able to manage the office atmosphere, the office busy schedule with managing the home activities. He has a way to plan for the family, most especially the wife and the kids, and with the in laws. He sent me to university. Throughout my university days, he never made me lack anything. I never lacked anything. Anything I asked for, he does. And he's very caring, he's very understandable. And I aspire to be like him, like very. It's very hard working. It's very, very hard working. There's one day some 
Grandpa needs to buy something for me. Needs to buy ice cream and donut. He used to buy things for me. Ice cream, donuts, meat pie, chicken pie. I love you, Grandpa. Dari Aragbaye believes in fairness, equality, and equity for efficient and productive service of Ondo State. In terms of uh, administration, it's second to none. It's highly progressively minded, it's caring, it's all in all. I find it difficult to get his, to fought his behavior pattern. Right. I, I wish him all the best in all his endeavor because he has served the state. I pray to Almighty Subhanahu wa Ta'ala that he should sit down to heed the fruit of his labors. So finally, finally, may Almighty Allah give him good health and long life and prosperity. Mr. Governor, especially for me personally, Mufe Dipo Kupo, Lower Long Fui Gesia, head of service. Oh, Shida Da Kupo. Twelve low Tommy, who got a man, Kiara Bima, he gave Tommy, Baba and Bella, one month of permanent secretary, Asheroni. Mufe is a look on fee, Araba, Sibel, I like Homo Kumbe. Tonke, Oshida Da Kupo, Mola Bini. Let me seize this opportunity to our head of service, Dari Aragbaye. You never mentioned it there, but your speech today was more like a validatory speech. He probably will not have opportunity of talking to you again as head of service and I can confirm it here that he has done very very well you have no problem with your leg please stand up and give me a round of applause you have tried your best the question now is what next for the astute bureaucrats and administrator with Magic One as he bows out gracefully, finishing well and strong as head of service of Undo State.